Okay, so this is our second try to do a stream after what, what happened with um, Angel Sanctuary. Um, so I guess the, the first question is, um, um, I was only able to get through 100, uh, 100 episodes, so I wasn't able to finish the last arc. How That's about you, Yeah. Yeah, you got, you got farther than me. Yeah. Um, yeah, the... I did cheat a little bit by playing some of the videos at uh, two times the speed, but um, I mean, most a lot of it is just action scenes, so um, it's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, well, speaking of, well, I, I guess we can start. Uh, you were the one that suggested this uh, by Gundam, so perhaps you could go down uh, why you like the show. This is a very, very popular show, Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, give it so, broad terms, like, what you like about yes, it. Yes, so, what I like about Yu Yu Hakusho, um, is, aside from, like, the fighting and the, the monsters and all sort of shit, because, you know, I, I, I do like that shit, like, you know, the monster fights, all the cool stuff, like, but what I really like about the show is, well, it, like, Yu Yu Hakusho, like, to me, feels like the prototype for, like, a really good battle shonen. And I'm not saying the show is bad. I think it's decent for what it is. Like, especially for when it came out. And considering, like, other shows it had to... Uh, other shows it was competing with, like... But what I like about Yu Yu Hakusho is you see, like, this very good, like, prototype for, like, a very good, like, battle shonen. And I also like the character relations between the main, you know, party. You know? Like, yeah. they, don't, they, don't, they, don't, they don't all just, like, suck the main character's cock. Like, they got their own shit to do. You know? They've got their own backstories. They've got their own motivations for doing shit. You know, wow. they're not just like blind NPC fa um, NPC followers. Yeah. And while it may not be as in depth for say like say some other battle shonens do, I think for what we got, and also like a lot of the show does, uh, some of the show does use a little bit of like the show don't tell for some of the character relations. I think a lot of the individual moments in the show are really good. And I think it's worth. I think it's worth watching for those little moments. And the actions and the battles can be pretty fun. You know, all the d dynamic and spirit powers they shoot out. You know, like uh, you know, Dragon of the Black Flame is pretty fucking. Ba is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So uh, what this? What I need? What I knew this show for was for the tournament arc, which um, I was surprised. I uh, like. The, the show does not start with the tournament arc. There's um, a couple of smaller arcs, I guess you could say. Um, and I felt that... Um, so I was kind of bored, to be honest, during the first few arcs. Um, and I, I, I hoped that um, that it would get better after the, now after the, the tournament arc started. But I didn't really en start enjoying the show until uh, really the final round. Um, oh, that's, of, that's terrible. You 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 you, you hated the final final round of the tournament. No, round? no, I, I I didn't get that far. He, he didn't even make it that, that far. It, I'm just saying it's terrible for it to take that long for you to like start caring about the show. I, I would say uh, around forty to fifty episodes in. That that's when the the final round. Um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, so given that you did watch the first few bits. Um, what did you not like about them? What did you like about them, Heraclius? Okay, uh, so starting out, the show has a funny enough premise. It's like the main character dies in some random incident because he was attempting to save this, and oh, what! And this was so unexpected. His sudden burst of selflessness was so sudden, uh, for lack of a better term, and, and they didn't want planning around this that like there's no place uh in their little heaven for him to go so they make an uh, give him an option this yusuke 14 year old kid japanese high school they say to him hey why don't you become start working for us start working for the spirit realm but in order to do that, you're going to have to go through all this stuff in order to keep your body alive, keep people from throwing your body into the furnace, stuff like that. And, you know, it's it, it, it's a kind of fun premise, uh, uh, and it's a kind of fun race against time at the start. And at the start, it's 
very much uh, Yusuke bouncing off against uh, the one main character. It's kind of fun at the start where Yusuke, he's this very earnest type and this very forthright type. Uh, uh, and he's definitely got a bit of a chip on his shoulder. And so at the start, he's like, oh, well, if I die, I've got no regrets type deal. Uh, and, and, and then he, like, s- sees around all the people that are mourning for, jeez, I, 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 I never thought that they cared that much, jeez. Yeah, like I, re- like, I really do like that episode scene where he goes, sees the funeral, and it's just, like, it's very heart-touching. He's like, oh, my God. Like, holy shit. Yeah, yeah, it, it really strikes, uh, and so it gives some newfound uh, strength and uh, get things to where he to be. Um, and as a result, he he is able to incarnate himself thanks to it must be said a great deal of help from uh, his childhood friend character who really goes out of her way to believe him. Uh, even though, even through like these like wild claims, like oh, it's, like n- no normal person w- would would believe these claims about the spiritual. She believes in it, saves his life. Um, Yus- Yusuke comes back to life, and at that point, okay, it starts being like a little bit of a monster of the week arc, and it's fun enough, and you. Uh, each monster of the week. Uh, th- this is actually where you get introduced to Kurama and Hie, who are going to be like main characters later on. And they start off as antagonists, and y- you get some fun characterization with them. Uh, again, more characterization where where Kurama like seems to be an okay guy who's just doing this for uh, in order to save his mother, and. Uh, and Yusuke is the one who, like, actually earnestly believes him, and the others are like, what are you doing? Like, he's an enemy. You, you can't do that, but his uh, belief pays off, so that's nice. But then we start to get into, as the show goes on, it becomes, like, more and more these tournament arcs. I guess you could say it starts with them all with him and his rival from school kuwabara both training to be under the, the training of uh genkai i believe her name is genkai 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 and it's about three or four episodes uh maybe a little more of them training uh of them having like this martial arts tournaments in the dark where they really have to hone their skills uh, I, guess I, I mean, I will be honest. I did kind of fast forward the, for those episodes. Like a couple of the episodes at the beginning, I did fast forward through. Okay, but, well, uh, even that was a better episode uh, overall. And, and and so you have that as a nice tournament arc. It's like okay, and then you get on to the next tournament arc, and it's oh, okay, we're random villains are attacking and we're going to spend like seven episodes walking into some evil dungeon off in spirit land and Kie and Kuruma get reintroduced at this point they do some fun stuff but at the same time yeah the show eventually becomes nothing but fight scenes and that's sort of one of the real detriments of this show is it it, it be it becomes a show where it's it's not even okay. Like back in the nineties, you had plenty of shows which were monsters of the week, and but within the monster of the week formula, you'd have oh okay, we char- we show the characters doing this, that, the other thing. We show them being able to like okay, this is the character's backstory, this is the character's background, this is their internal struggles for the day, and then it all gets resolved at the end, more or less, by fighting the main bad guy and defeating him. Yu Yu Hakusho doesn't have anything like that. Yu Yu Hakusho has whole episode-long fight scenes, and whole episode-long fight scenes stretched on top of each other over and over and over again. And that's sort of what Yu Yu Hakusho is about. And at a certain, like, okay, you 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 try and go go through and live with that for a bit. But once you start, it goes on for a while, 
and there's really nothing interesting going on with the villains, and the main heroes are just sort of there, it starts to get very, very boring, in my view. Hmm. So I guess uh, uh, what you're mostly talking about would be the Dark Tournament stuff, mm-hmm. um, and also some of the stuff in the in the spirit spirit detectives uh, stuff uh, at, at at the beginning like when they defeat um uh when they go to a castle or something and defeat uh, Suzaku whatever his name was yeah the the sacred beast arc like uh when i watched that arc for the first time it what like i liked it but like i preferred the dark torment arc i i kind of found the four sacred beasts a little bit boring well mm. yeah that that's what i felt that's what i felt about the dark tournament arc and that's what i felt well what uh, I got halfway through the Dark Tournament arc. Uh, that whole arc introducing the characters and the Suzaku guy, it, it's one of those bits where, okay, the villains, the first two villains are sort of forgettable. The last two villains are kind of fun. They they have a shtick to them. Uh, here, I forget, it was like here you or someone like that. He's just uh, totally arrogant prick and that's fun yes and, and suzaku is like the magnemonious above it all style villain with like a booming voice uh and, and he makes for a good villain but like every bit about it is sort of i'm going into uh, the villain's lair to go fight them and i guess that's sort of it like, um... I mean, if that's one thing I can't forgive about uh, that arc is um, uh, basically like when they get there and uh, they end the episode on a cliffhanger where they're holding up um, yes. <laughs> a, a ball uh, that is going to fall on them. And uh, I think it was called the ball of betrayal or something because. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. That was a fun episode. <laughs> Yeah, but like you, you kind of know that uh, you know they're not going to kill any of the characters because for stupid. No, people. <laughs> no, no, because it's way too early. Yeah, and it, like they they ended the episode on a cliffhanger. Either. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, the other I don't know the the episode. It's and when you get to the dark, and then there's like an in between arc. Between that and uh, getting to the Dark Tournament arc, which the Dark Tournament arc everyone talks about, for some reason, it's 30 plus effing episodes. Uh, I don't see how that qualifies as an arc. I think that's absurd. But uh, I remember there's the arc in between where they set up this character, Grow, who'd be the main rival, Yusuke, in the upcoming arc. Yeah. I... But it's literally just a your princess is in another castle and go save them and her and the villains are super boring and forgettable aside from this Togoro guy and Sakia maybe uh, huh? uh I think I think they also introduced uh, Sakia right uh, the whatever his name is the uh the guy uh, who's Oh yeah behind Decoro yeah he's quite fun Sakio yeah yeah, he, yeah he's, he's fun sort of like the the taunting in the background and dudes like so uh, above it all mysterious dudes stuff like that but like okay in general like I got to about episode forty or so and let's see past the first dozen episodes what new have I learned about the characters to make me care about them like what have they done. It's like, okay, I've seen a little bit with Kurama, where he cares for his mother even more. I guess that's something. Kie is the type of character who, he, he, he he's shown some growth, and he does sort of want to defend little sister who was keeping quiet about the fact it was her the whole time. So, I mean, that's kind of fun. That's about all that happened. Like character-wise, in the past twenty-six episodes, you set it, up Yusuke's rivalry, but it's like you—you—you you, you said, uh, good student, that you watch some of these sh- episodes at two times speed. And like, on the one hand, I want to yell at you because I feel like that's a terrible, like in general. 
But at the same time, I was doing the same thing. I was skipping around, skip, 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 like minute, 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 watching these episodes. And I feel like that's an incredible I mean, critique of these episodes that I was able to do that, and I was missing nothing. Mm, like to, these. To, to be fair, like um, um, I, I wasn't just uh, watching it at two x uh, speed at the start only. Only towards the end, when I was uh, basically running out, of, uh, running out of time and watched fifty yeah. episodes in a day, but gotcha. uh, st- yeah, but still, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say that like you, you stopped watching right at the moment <laughs> when, when like uh, it, it gets good. Um, for example, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not saying that. Like me and Harakis had a chat earlier. Where I was just like filling him in on like stuff. Him, like he's not gonna see because you know further on in the anime, which is gonna be the. The, the word for this uh, for this podcast. So further on, for example, in in episode one hundred, uh, they go through some of uh, Kia's um, backstory. That's an episode just about that. <laughs> episode one hundred. Um, look, look, we know you two. You two can't do anything that's beyond like fifty episodes. Just no, no, you know, no, no, too no, high, no. It's high, not too high about t- that. It's not about that by Gundam. I mean, yes, okay. That is annoying. Uh, 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 but, but, like, okay, Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Do I have to wait until episode 100 to hear about Yang Wenli's backstory? To hear about Oberstein's backstory? Or any That's not of a good analogy because Orion, Yang is dead oh. by 100 episodes. No, no, stop, stop. Now we're going to have to edit that out. Great, great. Uh... <laughs> But uh, Royenthal, but but like be it Royenthal or Mittenmeyer or all those types of characters, like you get a feel for those characters, and they start getting like development really early on. You, you have whole episodes devoted to just like s- single characters, like Kessler, who just sh- show up a- and provide like a general view of the of how things work in in this universe and stuff like that. And you never, there's nothing like that. In Yu Yu Hakusho, like the the whole the whole bit uh, that people like to say about stories is that story is about the human heart at war with itself. Uh, there's very precious little of that in this show. There's a lot of the actual heart and the actual body fighting actual other people, usually in sort of like martial arts terms. And it, you can have like there are there are decent bits in like every martial arts tournament where it's like okay he's able to build up a little bit of a rivalry with this character over the next two episodes and that can be fun but after that it's back to more endless fight scenes and there's just no end to it i think maybe the problem is is that um there are too many minions um too many yes there um, are. There are far too many. Um, which is why I thought that when it uh, it gets interesting uh, when the last round with uh, uh, of the dark tournament when they start when Toguro fake kills um, uh, the old lady. I can't remember her name now. Uh, he didn't fake kill her. He literally did kill her. Yeah, but you know she just comes back t- to life, uh, and it turns out that. Uh, uh, that that is what he sort of wanted, uh, expected to happen um, all along, or something. Um, bec- because he 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 asked uh, Kenma to preserve um, her body, um, so that when he's defeated, or rather, if he's defeated by um, uh, by the protagonist, I can't remember his name, but Yusuke. Yusuke. Yeah. Like I I'm reading through the wiki here, and this this feels like a perfect somewhat reflection of the way this show it will go into backstories but at the same time it can be oddly sparse in a lot of ways like this is Yusuke's main rival and he's just known as Toguro or the younger Toguro because there is his older brother and apparently it's just uh, those two are just uh, known by Ani and Ototo talking to each other. It's uh, we that's not, the the only we, name we, differential. 
Uh, we don't really get much, uh, get to know much um, uh, about uh, the elder one. Um, no, like he, like he's like we get more details on like the younger one than like the old one. Like the older one's just kind of around. Also, I I like the older Togoro brother. He's just like such a fucking bastard. It's so cool. It's and it's funny. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure whether I was exactly a fan of um, how they they sort of uh, this happened. Uh, um, not just with Togoro, but also with um, Seitsu, no, what, what what was his name again? Setsui. Uh, Setsui as well, where like, they kind of try to change their motive um, to, so uh, I, I think it's mostly with, with Togoro, when like after he died, after Togoro died, um, uh, this, like, they, they kind of imply that he, like, th- there was another, he, he, he didn't just want to be strong, uh, for its own sake, it was because like he had this uh, sub story about all of his followers uh, getting killed, um, and th- that is the real reason why. Uh, I-, I thought it was cooler when he was just a guy who wanted to be re- really, really st- uh, strong and so strength as the most important thing. Um, yeah, but isn't it kind of interesting that like you know he pursues strength and ends up becoming the thing that he hated the most? Yeah, I think th- the thing is that. It was more more interesting to me anyway, and and with uh, with the I, other I, guy, I think it's more interesting to me that like you know he pursued strength and became exactly what he hated the most. Like it's very ironic. Yeah, I suppose. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, and with the other one, um, well, I it was kind of odd to me when when it was suddenly revealed that like he has multiple personalities or something. Um, that, that uh, in this one, they kind of they do kind of showcase even before you find out about like how kind of like harried he is. Like there was like moments where he is kind of like harried before you figure that shit out. I suppose. Um, well, I can't think of any examples. Um, um, yeah, uh, yeah. But I, I guess the reason why I didn't like it is because those were the re- uh, when it comes to Toguro, like like he he's. I don't know. He he didn't come off as like like he was doing it for some some somebody else's good or some anything. Well, I, I don't have a I don't have a problem. Like I was looking at I, I already felt like I had a pretty good feel of Togoro just for what he was, and he he just seemed to be like the type of character who was looking for a rival and someone to fight, and yeah. that aspect is like that's fine that's yeah like, that, that, that's a good motivation yeah. And, yeah. And, and and like they show a little like this is my problem with the show okay they show a little bit of uh, him like the reason yusuke even gets into this arc is, is that Tokuro basically shows how much more powerful he is and says like i know you can be a good rival to, uh and I want to fight you in this tournament. So you are going to join this tournament, or else I'm going to kill Evans right now. There is no about it. Uh, and, and Yusuke is like totally shook up. Like like he is afraid, really under, understandably scared, afraid about this. And it's like, okay, that's that's a really good start. That's a really good start to an arc. That's a really good reason to scare. And then he just melds into the background and we hear like nothing about this and like it's not an emotional anything for the show for the whole rest of the time and it's like what is this i think that they do sort of build it up um little by little by showing uh him um basically beating uh other contestants um you know so uh, like have him around like kind of scheming in the background as well like he's like watching like he's always kind of like a presence that's there right right yeah they, they sort of have him and sakyo just commenting in the background but there's like no never a moment where like yusuke has to reflect on this or or where or where like to- togoro could even like show up in the downtime and like start training him quote unquote in, in odd ways like yeah. that would be fun that would be fun stuff to do and there, there's never any moments yeah, like I, that I, I mean I, I guess um, that, that's the reason why I also saw that 
it gets better during the the, the final round when uh, Togoro shows up and just uh, uh, calls uh, Genkai and just kills Genkai off of the um, like it's not during the tournament, but he just uh, calls her outside um, and then uh, obviously um, Yusuke has uh, to do. Uh, I, 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 Yusuke, um, okay, I think we're skipping ahead. Um, Genkai is like severely weakened at this point because she's passed on her abilities to Yusuke. Yeah. Because um, like he has to like basically like face himself in this like trial and shit. Yeah, and, and Yusuke is able to catch up to um, uh, Genkai and and to, uh, fighting with Toguro, but uh, you know, Toguro is just able to beat him. Uh, very easily because um, Yusuke ha- hasn't still had the time to master uh, the power which uh, Genkai had uh, given her. And and the reason why Toguro had decided to kill Genkai was because uh, he had sensed that she had uh, given up her power. So she wasn't a verti contestant anymore, but she just disgusted Toguro because... Um, yeah, uh, because Genkai and Toguro used to be a team fifty years ago or something, but now she's she's just an old woman. Um, one yeah, thing apparently which... there might have been lovers as well. That was also a thing that was talked about. Why is it that uh, Genkai accuses um, Toguro of abandoning his friends because he chose to be just because he chose to become a yokai? And that's one thing which I didn't quite get. I think it's the shit associated with it, like. Uh, he basically decided to join up with the committee who are literally selling demons and shit like that and doing all sorts of, like, dodgy shit. It's like, it's not the fact he's a demon, it's also the fact he signed up for all that crap, too. Mm. Yeah, I suppose. Um, because, I mean, you know, Yusuke is also not exactly human either, so... No. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. But uh, but I'm not sure if, that, if at that point... Um, it was already cl- uh, clear that he wasn't just a normal human. Um, I, d- I mean, because- in use case, case, no. No. Because Not immediately. They- yeah, yeah, because uh, I, I, it was only at the end that they revealed that uh, he had some demon kind, uh, which means, I, I, which I guess means yokai b- blood. Um, um, yeah. yeah, but at that point, he was. they thought that he was just a normal human. Um, yeah, because in the manga, they use the translation that he's... Um... Like, basically, like, demon royalty, essentially. Like, he's descended from, like, a, a type of very, uh, like, a powerful type of yokai or apparition. Yeah. Um, like, these species is quite powerful. Like, he he's the descended from a very powerful species. They're, like, you know, yokai royalty, essentially. You know, like a Yashiro or Kaijin, like that type. Uh, so, uh, other than the, the, the Toguro fight, um, were there any other uh, fights in the tournament that uh, you found? Particularly memorable. Um, I, I like the fight where Hie uses like the Dragon of the Darkness Flame for the first time, and literally like just roasts the dude, and everyone's like like looking on in shock. Yeah, yeah, that's just sort of a nice climax to it, where it's like it, it provides stakes of like, yeah, this is still a death game. Death tournaments, yeah. Um, what else fights did I like? Uh, I liked the fight of the team with the dice and the clown guy. He was full of the magic items. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, but basically, he uses uh, he used the dice to decide yeah. uh, who who gets. I, the like fight. the other fights of the tournament mark are like okay, like I was entertained enough, but like the ones that really stand out to me are like those two. That stuff's good. Oh yeah, and the ninja fight, the ninjas was also good too. Uh, what was the ninja fight? I, no, I can't remember. They they uh, fight the uh, demon ninjas. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, yeah, uh, and then yeah, that they one was of, good. They, they sort of make friends afterwards, sort of. Yes. Um, yeah, and then they have like the drunk Australian, like in the English dub, this guy sounds like an Australian, and they have that like their fucking fist fight with knives. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, I I watched the sub, but um, a lot of people seem to like the dub as well. Um, yeah. So there is that. Um, I think both are pretty good. I think the English voice actor for Hiei does a really good job. But, like, the Japanese one is also fairly good. So, um, so I watched this anime on a, a website which uh, rhymes with the German word for no. Um, and then anime. But, um, so, <laughs> a, 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 a lot of the, the, the people there uh, had complaints uh, in the comments about uh, 
uh, Kuwabara's character. Um, just why? Just that he had nothing to do? Yeah, that he like that he like uh, most of the fights which he won were just out of luck, apparently. And um, well, that's that's sort of his shtick. That's sort of the shtick that they're going for. Is that he's lucky? He's the old man. Got yeah. determination. Yeah, like he's kind of, like he's kind of the old man out, old man out. I mean, they do explain like later on the show, like like, yeah, like uh, I'll, I'll talk about this, but like you know, later on the show, right when the others go to Demon World, he's like, okay, I'm done with this. This shit's getting too weird. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, so that that's where I stopped. Like, he, so he he doesn't go to the Demon World at all for the last. No. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's like, yeah, this shit's getting too weird for me. I'm taking off now. Goodbye. Like, have your fun. I'm not, you know, like, he literally becomes a smart guy. Like, he literally studies and becomes, like, a, a smart guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, like, for example, in the, in the, what was it? What, again, I forget the name again. Um, Setsui, was it? Um Yeah. Sense, yeah, or Sensui or Sensui, I can't remember. In that arc, again, like he 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 literally just gets kidnapped for most of the arc because um, he ha- uh, he happens to get uh, the power to slice through dimensions. Uh, he reason. he had that power the entire time. It just took a while to get there. Yeah, and coincidentally, yeah, it, it was with him. Um, and. Yeah, but but he he just gets captured um, and he's kind of useless for most of that. And right right after that, he just uh, signs out, as um, uh, Bhagavandam says. Um, well, it, it's fairly normal because like he feels useless, right? Like he just can't keep up. <laughs> yeah, and, and and I guess that that's sort of uh, what what some of the audience <laughs> didn't like about him either. That he felt a little bit useless by that point. Um, yeah, I mean, I, he's he's the only quote unquote uh, normal human, except yeah, that, and he's yeah, and he's yeah. fucking like all his teammates are fucking demons or half demons who are naturally gifted at this shit. You know, like he's a he's a talented dude um, and a team of prodigies. So an- another complaint uh, was, um, I mean, it's not just against him. But but against Yusuke as well, a uh, fake that, you know, I mean, it's shonen, so I guess, I guess it's sort of expected. Um, we are, we are to, mo- to motivate um, uh, Yusuke to fight, um, uh, Kuwabara is uh, mortally wounded, but, uh, and everybody pretends that he's dead, so that uh, Yusuke gets his, uh, you know, power up Yay. out of anger. Yes. It still looks cool, but uh, and to be honest, it didn't really bother, bother me that much. Maybe because I've come to expect this sort of thing mm-hmm. when it's show, shown in. Um, but what did bother me was when um, Yusuke was killed by Setsui again, or Setsui, whatever his name is. Yeah. And then uh, he just comes to li- back to life because, oh, guess what? Uh, he's, he's, he's demon kind. Uh, even though I don't think, I, or at least I can't recall. Maybe it, it was there, but because I watched it at double the speed, I didn't notice it. Uh, I didn't notice any clues that um, uh, that he he was that he uh, he was actually the demon kind, and that, that he was just about to um, I, I don't know become a full full yokai or something. Uh, no, he's uh, he'd be like basically. I think how they explain the show is that um, like basically he wasn't. Like he wasn't powerful enough to like tap into his full power, but now he is. You know, yeah, but, but, but it's but like I don't, unlocked. I, I, I Only don't get... now yeah. have you unlocked my true power. Power. And, yeah, and that happens only after he's killed, uh, like b- properly killed. I think e- even his uh, his heart wasn't beating, but then yeah, he just. Uh, comes fun back. fact in the show when he like meets up with the guys again and he says like, "Oh, I feel fine, except my heart stopped beating." And like they all they all break out laughing because they're like, oh yeah, demon hearts don't beat in like the normal sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, apparently they have a nuclear eye somewhere or something. Um. Well, I think they beat just very. I think the sub was like they beat very slowly, or like they don't beat in the way that like human hearts operate. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was. Um, so, um, uh, what did you think 
Uh, yeah, and I guess one note, uh, given that we are, we are going past it all fast, I, I did like, um, you know, uh, Heraclius earlier mentioned um, how they, uh, how how basically uh, the the main cast was uh, roped into the dark tournament, um, and they did a pretty good job of showing uh, how scary uh, Toguro uh, was. Um, because the the only reason that they ended up at the dark tournament was because um, yeah. Toguro invited them, and and, and not coming uh, would be the well, same. Well, they're going to get invited anyway because the the organizers are basically going to put like, like head squads on them, not just Toguro. Yeah, like, yeah. But, but but weren't they invited because Toguro invited them? Um, or was it the, uh, they, or, I, I think they were going to get invited anyway. But like Toguro just like helped sweeten the deal. I see. I see. But, but I kind of liked her up, liked it because. Uh, there was no indication that them going to save Yukina was going to lead to this. It sort of um, no, yeah, it, it it came out of nowhere, but it flowed well. Uh, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, well, these are rich and powerful people who need entertainment, and when you interrupt their entertainment, well, you know, you go off to the Gladiator Arena arc, you know, in some abandoned island somewhere. It's like, hmm, yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, what else? Oddly familiar, but anyway, um. Yeah, yeah, like I'm pretty sure they were going to get sent to the tour. They 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 were going to fight in that tournament anyway. But like I think Togoro just kind of like helped grease the wheels. Yeah, um, and I guess uh, a, a moment of silence for you know not the participants uh, to the to the dark tournament, but all the audience <laughs> audience members that uh, died from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what, like, that, that's what I like about the dark tournament arc, right? Is it's like you know, not only are like demons ripping each other apart, they're also like fucking killing the entire. They're also eating the audience too, like just massive blood buff. I'm like, yes, awesome. Yeah, okay. So this, I, I was talking about this a little bit earlier. Is one of the things that bothers me about this show is. I never world building always seemed to be like a secondary concern in the show, and what I mean by that is, okay, I, by like the middle of the dark tournament arc, what do I know about like the demon world? Really, almost nada. Well, the spiritual world, really, I know almost nada. Um, and there's no like sense of mystery or anything like that. It's uh, and you've got like Koenma, who's literally just this baby who's doing uh, uh who who's filling out papers everywhere. It it, it feels it it feels like fairly little thought was put into the broader world and was just sort of made up as uh, the author went along. I I kind of feel like um it, it sort of feels like he came up like like because we do get to see the demon world uh so at at the end um. But it, it's kind of compartmentalized. Like the author came up with the idea for the next arc afterwards. Um, that, that's a bit, a bit what it, what it felt, felt like to me. Um, like, but that's, I guess, in retrospect, it didn't really bother that me. That doesn't really bother me that much. But when I was watching it, yeah, it, it did feel like okay. Well, so... Like, I, I, I do where Heracles is coming from, where you know, it definitely. Like, I'm not saying the show's perfect. Like, it, it definitely could have, like, expanded upon a lot of that stuff. Um, there is an in-law reason for why you don't find out too much. is because, like, Spirit World is keeping Yusuke in the dark about a lot of things. Because the last time they had a Spirit Detective find out about the wilder world, he went insane. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, as for Koenma, uh, I mean, uh, by the end, I think he's mostly in his uh, adult form. And he even takes... Uh, uh, removes his pacifier um, out of his mouth, which apparently is filled with magical power or something, um, which he uses he uses to uh, to save um, someone's life. But he, yeah, um, he he does do something uh, towards the end, uh, like when the spirit world uh, turns against Yusuke, uh, he dis- he um, Koenma turns against um, his father's orders. And the spirit world uh, to side with um, Yusuke, but yeah, because so you know something. after Yusuke discovers he's a half demon, saves the world. You know now he's a, he, he basically they think he's going to be the next threat. Yeah, because of his uh, demon uh, blood or something. 
because he uh, yeah well it's also because like and at, at this time in the show like he a um f- not not kurabara Kurama, that's right, Kurama. I always get those two names fucking confused. Yeah, so same here. Like, same basically, here. At, th- at this point, like, Kurama, Hiei, and Yusuke are also becoming, like, way too fucking powerful as well. Like, they're disturbing the balance of the game. Like, they're becoming too powerful as well. Yeah. Because, yeah, you, you find out that demons are kind of broken up into, like, classes, which is, like, you know, how powerful they are. And typically, the strongest they can get across to our world is, like, B-class. And these three are, are like, S- are getting up to S-class. Like, basically, they're like, okay, we can't control these three. They're too powerful, and they can literally, like, nuke a city if they felt like it. Like, very easily. But, but, I, I, like, but, I, also, oh. but, but I also understand what Heraclius is saying. Like, it's, it's sort of like a black box. Like, like the, I didn't feel like the, that the presence uh, or the existence of the tournament, for example, before it came up, there was any sign, sign of it. No, uh, no, and I feel gimped in a way. I I feel disappointed because, like, at the start, I thought, okay, this is going to be this fun running like Monster of the Week show where 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 Yusuke has to balance his school life and, and having to deal with these monsters, and it's going to be constant strain with his cute girlfriend that uh, that really looked after him and. And that there'd be all these character dynamics that would be fun. And no, it, it it it's you know what it is? It's a fighting game. It is Street Fighter Five, the TV show. That's what Yu Yu Hakusho is. And it's like, and, and the level of depth and dynamism in the story is about the same level. Not like Blaze Blue, which can be like kind of weird and crazy and out there and have a convoluted story. No, this is like the the level of story of like, I don't know, Street Fighter or Tekken and just going through the campaign mode. Only you don't get to play it. F- funnily enough, uh, at, at like uh, in one of the final arcs, um, not the final arc, but the penultimate, I guess, uh, in Setsuri's arc, uh, they get stuck inside an, uh, an ar- arcade game uh, kind of thing and like they have to uh, do play games including fighting games to win so i guess it's, <laughs> it's a fighting funny. game within, within a fighting <laughs> game. inception uh, yeah um so um another thing which kept uh, keep, kept on coming up in the comments of that certain website uh, is uh, so have i haven't watched it uh, but hunter hunter apparently also has uh, like the arcs are set like very different from each other Yes, uh, and apparently this. By the way, the, uh, the, by the way, Hunter X Hunter is written by the same person, Yu Yu Hakusho. Like this is why I say Yu Yu Hakusho is like the prototype for good ideas. Um. Yeah. So. So. So I. I guess that's sort of why. Uh. Like the first bit of the show is so different from the. Um. Not too too different, but yeah, it is. It is different enough from uh the tournament, the dark tournament. Um, and what comes later is also, um, um, would you say, yeah, I think it, it's different enough to be, um, but because if you think about a, a Dragon Ball, uh, after Dra- Dragon Ball Z starts, like, every arc is sort of the same, <laughs> same yes. thing, yes, I, whereas I didn't, I didn't, exa- I didn't feel like that, th- that much here, um, I, I, but... I mean, what is fundamentally a battle shonen? It's a shonen and there's like battles and stuff like that. I mean, it's I forgot happened. my point. I'm fucking tired. Um, a battle shonen is a character. Well, fight. it's a battle shonen. That's exactly what you got on the turn. <sighs> okay, like I wanted more. Mm. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, so I also wanted more, but I'm not getting it. You know, we can't get what we want. Okay, uh, well, that's fine. Uh, 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 I can uh, uh, choose to turn off the show. And well, apparently that 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 is also the the problem which uh, hunter hunter fans have because oh hello hello yes oh yes you were talking or listening yes okay uh yeah it's working it's working or is it yes it is yeah. working yeah yeah um uh-huh. because no no I think it's a problem with OBS but because I'm recording it with Craig as well so it, everything is fine thankfully. Um, 
yeah, because I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Hunter Hunter has gone on hiatus as well. A- anyway, back to you. Honestly, Yuhaku just show. watch the anime of Hunter X Hunter. It ended at a, at a perfectly good point. You know, main character completes his goal. Done. Mm. So back to you, Yuhaku show. Uh, so I wasn't able to finish watching the last arc. Um, I, I guess because it's so, it's all. I mean, it's, I call it an arc, but compared to the other ones, it's. Pretty short. Relatively ended. short. It's just an it's like an epilogue essentially. I see. see. It's um, just wrapping shit up. Mm-hmm. Um so I mean from from what I I mean, I've seen the the setup which seems to be that um so they all so um Yusuke, Kuruma oh, no not is it it's not Kuruma because Kuruma is the it's a Japanese Kurama. word. Kurama. Kuruma is a Japanese word for car. Um so uh, Kurama and Hiei um, are all going to the demon world, um, and they're all fighting for a, for a different faction yes. um, in the demon world. Um, and so, so, which means that they're they're going to be fighting each other. So that, that's that's the only thing um, that I know. Um, yeah, it, it, it sucks if it like gets to that point because they have a mess. Like they have like the the Demon King tournament to determine who's going to be the new ruler of hell. I mean that's yeah. fun, but I I would I, I would have liked the cool idea of like I don't know all three of them like fighting each other to death, yeah. like so, a throwback to the, those early episodes. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. But but again, like that that doesn't seem to be. It's just twelve episodes, a new setting. Um, yeah, well, the issue is that, like, the guy who's training Yusuke, like, dies earlier than expected. So did you feel that uh, the, the final um, arc was, um, I guess, rushed or too short or anything like that? Or? I think it was a bit too short and it needed a bit more... Um, um, I was just this kind of, like, a bit more conflict between the main three of them. Like, them, like, just fighting each other to the death. Like the like the good old days and the episode like like the good old days. Mm. It was like you don't really see a break in the friendship. Like like Kurama's literally like scheming to like the Kurama's literally training up assassins to fucking merc one of the like one of the like the guy that he's working for. <laughs> Unironically. Mm. Yeah. Um so I, I, I mean, it's cool that we get like some backstory and some more like elaboration and some of the like the stuff they're going through. Like that's great and that's cool. And all, but I kind of wish. Um, I don't. Know, I wish the arc was like a little longer, so we could spend more time with some of these char- other characters. Yeah. Um. So, but so it's just uh, like that's the thing. This is a hundred ten episode show. If you wish you had more time with the character, this show is not using its time efficiently. I mean, it it it, it could also be that you you uh, you like the character uh, the character so much you want to see more of. So, I mean. But I, I understand. Like, yeah, like, here's the thing: I was like watching this mostly for the fights, and also like I, I liked the character dynamics and the team. Like, it's a very good like team. So, speaking of which, we haven't really um, talked about the team. Do you have any favorites? Um, I'm just gonna go off here. I mean, for me, they are also one to know that I, I don't know. Like, I don't hate any of them. They're yeah, like, like all of them are likable enough and cool. Yeah, but it's like I don't feel strongly about any. Um, I, I guess uh, think of them as I don't know ca- characters in a fighting game. Which one? <laughs> which one would you go? go? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Kuruma's got weird plant powers, which are neat. He is just a bruiser. Uh, Kurobawa's like pure determination, and that's fun. Yusuke's like the main character. One thing I gotta say for the show, it's it's got a great art style. Like it, it, yes. all the character designs are just fantastic looking. Yeah, I, I also like some of the designs for the demons as well. Like they do look pretty cool. Some of them. Yeah, uh, at the opening, uh, I ca- I kind of know uh, how I'm going Smart to. Smart bomb is a great song. Yeah. So, um, uh, whom would I prefer? I think I like um, Kurama. The most, uh, even though he's sort of a flower boy. Um, yes, he canonically is uh, like he canonically is like very androgynous in the show. 
and like uh, like at the la- at the last episode, like when he's sitting with um, Kurabara, like one all the like some of these girls go up from like his high school for like, oh, I didn't know you're dating a girl, and he's like, oh, like I'm a guy. I was like, oh, okay, whoops. Yeah, yeah. Like he's going for like very much like Bashonen and pretty boy type. Yeah, uh, I mean he he can also be pretty brutal. Uh, like uh, yes. what he does to uh, to Agura the elder. Right. Oh yeah, uh, well that's partially what I like about the show, right? Is that like some of these main characters who are quote unquote the, like quote unquote the good guys, right? They're like incredibly brutal and scary people. Yeah, they'll still kill you. Uh, I I don't know, like uh, I'm like here's the thing: Hiei will kill you quickly. Uh, Kurama will like torture you over long, 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 long periods. Hmm. Um. Like Elder Togoro wishes he was dead. Yeah, I mean, uh, so what I guess I uh, could explain what happened to, to Togura the Elder is that um, he's basically trapped uh, because of a plant, because he can't be killed. He's basically immortal. Um, uh, because of that, uh, Kurama uses a plant, um, a demonic plant, which uh, puts him in um, in an, a hallucination where uh, he's fighting against uh, Kurama, except there's no end to it. So uh, the plant keeps on feeding on him while showing him um, a, a, a hallucination of a fight with Kurama, which basically doesn't end. Uh, and that uh, I guess that will go on for eternity, <laughs> given that he can't be killed either by the plant. Um, yeah, it's like a perpetual torture, essentially. Uh, let me think. Uh, uh, he is supposed to be the dark one. I mean, he's he, he wears black. Um, and as black, <laughs> 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 no, no, like here's the thing he, he does have an alternate costume, it's yellow, but you have to buy the DLC for that. I mean, at the <laughs> like, we're working with so little here. Um, buy the DLC, Heraculous is $5.99. Uh, no, <laughs> no, stop nickel and diming me. Um, no, uh, yeah, I mean, um. At the start, at least, um, all of the characters uh, are wearing school uniforms. I think they are middle school uniforms, but they're all yes. uh, different different colors. Which For I some guess. reason. Yeah, actually, that's one of the things I actually want to explain in the show. Why is Yusuke wearing green and Kuobara is wearing blue? Uh, just character design. Uh, I mean, I, I'm not that anal about things. I mean, uh, uh, Kurama, Kurama's uh, is sort of uh, red, like his hair. Yeah, well, he and comes from. A, yeah, but he goes to a different school. And he's a flower boy, uh, and he carries around a rose, um, a red rose. So uh, <laughs> that goes. It's so he that. can pick up chicks, of course. Uh, yeah. Well, see, you've got the looks of a shoujo pro tag. You got to use it to your like maximum effect. Uh, speaking of which, um, a lot. I mean, a lot of the people in the comments had complaints about uh, the female characters. Um, I did like what uh, they just sit in the background and do nothing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, but they, they're, well, yeah, but their moral support, like Yukina, like heals them. You know, you know. It, it it reminds me of a some parody I saw, like Transformers of like fifty years ago. A uh, guy was making fun of like Transformers Energon, and he basically went, "Hey, look, hot shot, there's a fight going on." Let us stand around and watch, and that's what Yu Yu Hakusho feels like. <laughs> and, and, and to be fair, I mean, with, with like the female characters who don't have any powers, yeah, sure, of course, that's what they're going to do. But it, I, I feel like that's a lot of the show. Is what bug? What's sometimes weird is like even when they're not in an explicit tournament where it's like two on two or one on one it'll still be done in such a way where it's a duel for no seeming reason at all. I guess the author just really liked writing it things that way and would have trouble uh, depicting multiple people fighting one dude. I... Uh, they're all one-on-one fights, yeah. Um, all of them, them, which is very odd. I, I, I kind of feel like they're going for like a sort of a... Like, it has to be man to man, one on one kind of thing. Um, that's more important than surviving or, or whatever kind. And um, 
Uh, uh, well, I, I mean, I don't mind it in, like, obviously Dark Tournament art because a tournament, but it was, like, noticeable in all the other times where they're having to save the world where it's like, why aren't you doing anything? And, like, I can't take it, like, super seriously if you guys should be helping one another and just are refusing to because I, I, I don't know, the manga's lazy? Uh, I do know in, like, the Since We arc, where, like, he's, when Yusuke's fighting the sniper dude, like, he, like, literally jumps in to save his, save his ass. Okay, that's good. But in the, in the Since We arc, again, at the end, I, I remember, um, uh, Yusuke saying that, uh, like, he, he doesn't care about, uh, the, de the demon realm or the, uh, or the human realm or the spiritual realm or whatever, he just cared about the fight because, uh, Since We was trying to. Try to open up a tunnel to the yeah to from the demon realm to the uh, to the human. Yeah, yeah he may, like yeah, but he's he's kind of bullshitting. Like the reason why he interferes, right, is is partially get that tape, but also like here's the thing: uh, his sister's in the human world, and those two demons they like kill when they come to the human world. He's like, oh, these people, these demons will put my sister at threat. Okay, yeah, I've got to do this. Are you talking about Kuabara or Yusuke? Who are you talking about? Oh, I thought we were talking about something else. Uh, I think it was talking about Hie. Yeah. Oh, Hie. Oh, sorry. Okay. I was talking about uh, Yusuke d during the last uh, the fight with uh, Sensui before they go to the to the demon realm. Um, Yusuke says that uh, um, he he, do he doesn't care about like he only cared about the fight there at least at that moment. Um, okay. Sorry. Uh, wh what were you saying about uh, Hie? It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, about the female characters, I think it might have been... I, I, I think they're fine. You know, one of them's a healer, and the other two are there for, like, moral support. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. I, I, I think it was... I no... mean... Okay, go ahead. For me, it's not... It, it, it's not the fact, like, I, I don't mind their moral support or that they do other shit. It is a little bit annoying that there's... I guess no time spent with them, at least through a lot of the tournament dogs. I mean, there was enough time spent with them earlier, less time later on. I don't know. I mean, there's, there's the usual feminist critique of if female character isn't featured enough, that's sexist, whatever, and that's not really a serious critique. Um, but, I mean, it does sort of sometimes feel like why... Why are they there? Why are, why are, they, are there? they there? Yeah, <laughs> and, and they're just sort of there because they've already been set up, and it's definitely like. I mean, um, w one theory, which I think uh, it was Snob uh, who said it, is that uh, they are there so that so that it doesn't feel like uh, the main cast is gay or something. Yeah. Uh, oh yes, the the red letter media theory of who has the case of the not gays. Uh, I, I, I mean, my pet fear was that, like, Keiko is watching because she thinks it's hot that Yusuke is, like, beating the shit out of demons. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, just, oh, yeah, get ready for the splash zone. Yeah. But, but, but be the first time. Uh, but, but, like but on the other hand, um, uh, when they try to force uh, the women into, into, into battle uh, shown, and sometimes it works out. Um, I mean, you you have one woman here in the form of Gen uh, Genkai, I guess. And you yeah. also have like one of the demon kings who's also a female. Okay, yeah. but that's a villain, so that doesn't. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, a villain. I I see. Um, I, I like I was thinking of like I I haven't actually watched Dragon Ball Super, but I've seen mm -hmm. some I don't know female Super Saiyan or whatever from Dragon Ball Super, and it looked really stupid. There, um, I guess it's just a case of um, how you do it. Um, right. So, yeah. How how are we gonna rate this show? Uh, before that, um, um, uh, so um, the the so after the dark tournament, um, uh, the, the arc after that is the sensory, I guess, arc. Where okay, like, okay. Let me ask you this: Does anything? Change after the dark. Does anything interesting happen? Um. Well, yes. Aside uh, from like, I mean, he decides to fuck off. Um. Okay. Yusuke and Kurabara are getting like restless. I think, <laughs> like they're getting pretty bored. Um. Like there's stuff going on. Okay. And also, uh, the new villains this time are mostly humans 
with uh, with powers rather than yokai for that. Yeah, they're uh, like these psychics essentially. Okay. And like their powers like um, are a little bit more specific, uh, and they only work in a in a certain quote unquote territory, um, which is basically a perimeter of uh, however many meters. Um, and uh, I thought that the way that they that that arc started was kind of uh, interesting. So basically, uh, uh, um, yeah, uh, Kurama. Uh, so, so basically, Yusuke gets ki- uh, kidnapped by uh, three humans. Uh, like uh, some, uh, they just tell him, uh, uh, "Let's go and have a fight after school." And obviously, Yusuke um, thinks he's going to just yeah. be able. To be- yeah, like you know, they basically like call like Yusuke at this point is feeling quite restless after the dark tournament arc. Like he's he's like he's itching for a fight. He's been irritable. Even Keiko's just like, uh, like yeah, like even Keiko's getting annoyed with his antics. Like he's getting restless because um, you know, he just likes fighting. Like that's just what he's into. And the, like like you know, he's like a drug addict. Like you know, he's had his greatest hit kick with like the dark tournament arc, and now he wants more. Hmm. Okay, I mean. You can do interesting character stuff with that. I don't know uh, if they do it or not, or like, why does that have to wait until episode sixty-seven or whatever? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, do we have anything else, or shall we go to final school? Mm. So I, I guess I just wanted to say I found the the whole thing. Um, so they kidnap him and bring him to a to a quote unquote mansion. Um, and uh, like for example they have to play um a uh, sort of a word game because one of um, um those um humans powers is that if you say a certain word then um your soul gets uh, taken out of your body um and it's sort so that they keep on speak but and you can't use any violence inside uh, the territory um uh, and there were a few other things like that which were interesting but other than that um it soon it soon uh, reverts to basically battles um and anyway let's go to um uh, i guess um the scores um Baugandam. um i'll give this a 6 to 7 out of 10 like it's fairly enjoyable i enjoyed it i had fun like yes some of heracles's critiques are correct like it definitely the show does lack a lot, lot a lot of depth but for some of the like the cool stuff, like some of the character relationships, some of the powers, some of the battles, like it's it's very fun. Like this is like like a prototype for like really good ideas, which I, I get. Give, yeah, sorry. I, I give it. Uh, people are gonna hang me for this, but I'm gonna give it like a five or a four out of two. Like, yeah, the 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 to me past the opening of the show, there's just nothing interesting about this. <laughs> Okay, and I'll give it a uh, seven. Um, uh, if I had stopped watching it um, during the tournament arc, I probably would have given it a four or a five um, as well. That stuff uh, was kind of boring. Um, well, well, for me, like I, I go by the old idea of like if you can't get, if you can't sell me by X amount of time, like especially. You, you, you've basically like screwed up and like at that point like I, I i'm one of those people where like even if you manage to really innovate uh at like episode 90 i don't care if, if it's still bad by episode 40 and it's not like an episodic show uh you you failed and that's on you all right um anything else to to add uh, Biogandam, any characters or things you would like to No, I've, I've seen what I need to say. All right, then. Um, uh, I think that's that. That's about it. Um, Harigato gozaimasu or something. Yeah, bye-bye. <laughs>